it out, man. Just another amazing freaking day in paradise. Look at that. It's like freaking 96 degrees on my speedometer. Probably accurate. Super hot today. Super humid down here in Alabama. Uh, gorgeous nonetheless. Pack it up. Sell your house. Where are you? Northeast? Forget about it. Get down here. Move to Florida. Oh my God. Florida's a freaking amazing. Same humidity. Beaches, white sand, blue water, crystal clear. It's amazing, guys. Uh, all right, so here we go. What's going on with AMC? Yeah, what's going on with AMC? Here's what's going on, man. Why it's trading sideways. Why it can't break $60. Here's what's up. There's a new trader in town, man. There's a new investor in town. And it's you and me, and we're sharks. The new retail investor is a shark that doesn't want to sit on something like Tesla for the long. Because now we see, hey, there's a list. Look at that list of all these high interest shorted stocks. Look at that. Workhorses at 40% short interest. Unreal. Look at that. Yeah, what's uh, Bed Bath & Beyond? 32% short interest? Come on, Clove? 34% short interest? So the problem is when you have these lists, man, and you got people nowadays with ADD, they got that attention deficit disorder. They got to bounce. The grass is greener on the other side. They can't sit longer than five minutes. You see what I'm saying? They can't look at YouTube for longer than a minute without going to another video. Well, that's how they are with their stocks, man. AMC's taking too long. It's taking too freaking long. Let me go over to Workhorse, 40% shorted. Jesus, I'm going to make all my money over there. That's the problem right now, okay? Let me go over to Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll make more money over there. People don't realize... There's, there's way more factors going on with AMC. Even though it's taking a minute, you know, you have the naked short factor. And that's what's going to cause that squeeze to go through the freaking roof. The only problem is we really don't know what those synthetic shares are. We're guessing that it's around three, 300 million. We're guessing, okay, which means there's going to be a, a very uh, supply and demand crunch on the price when we eventually, when they cover all the outstanding shares, okay? The 300 million synthetic and the 85 million that I believe right now is legally shorted. Uh, you put all that money back in, baby, and oh my God, you end up with a huge number. My guesstimation is four to 500. But anyhow, uh, what does short interest mean? Short interest is simple. If you have a stock with 200 million shares and, it's being, and the uh, short interest is at 50%, that means 100 million of those shares is being shorted all right so that's why people are paying attention to how high the short interest the higher the better it is for the sharks because we say hey we can go in retail investors and drive that price way up now they got to cover hopefully could take forever for them to cover they could fight and fight and fight like they're doing citadel's fighting citadel's now buying bonds they're trying to short freaking bonds because they can't get their hands on any more amc shares Luckily, the CEO is pulling the bonds away from them because even the CEO wants to see a AMC squeeze. Is that a good thing or a bad thing that the CEO wants to see the short squeeze throw down on AMC? Well, it kind of tells me that he wants to see the price just drive through the freaking roof so that he can liquidate his 25 million shares in January. That's what it tells me, which he's going to do nonetheless. What was your... You, did, you, did you vote? Because I damn sure voted no. You're going to vote no. Everybody's going to vote no. You might have that one short bus dude vote yes because he doesn't freaking get it. Listen, man, if you're an AMC for any other reason other than the short squeeze, that's the only reason we're in AMC. The short squeeze, that's it. Nobody's in it for the value of the company. Nobody cares about what the, the quarterly financial statement's going to be. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying, I'm going to a cheesecake factory for the salad. Who does that? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I'm investing in AMC for the quarterly return. What? Nah, dude. You're here for the freaking short squeeze. That's why you're here. Okay? So what I'm telling you is, come January, I guarantee you he's going to liquidate those $25 million. And that's why he, the CEO wants to see the price drive up because he knows he's getting paid in January. So take those bonds away from freaking Citadel. Screw you, dude. You know, you're not going to gain interest on that. You're not going to short that. We're going to pull every tactic away from you possible. So you have to cover. That's the bottom line. All right. So look, all you dudes with ADD, I'm telling you, get your money back. If you sold your AMC, you're an idiot. Put your money back in AMC and just sit still for a minute. Just, just a minute. 
You know what I'm saying? We all know when the hell to get out. We're all going to get out. Hopefully we do it all at the same time. When this puppy breaks at four, five, six, seven hundred freaking dollars, then you walk away with some real cash. There you go. That's what's up with AMC. I got the rest of the day to play. So I'm about to head back to my pool, baby. You better believe it. Vacation time for old warrior. All right, everybody have an awesome afternoon. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shaboom. Peace.